Welcome back to Primetime News and a very special welcome to those of you joining us online at onespotmedia.com. First, it was the Troy Bridge. Now another structure in rural Jamaica has collapsed. We're talking about the Woodsville Bridge in Hanover, where over a year ago, residents raised concerns about its deteriorating state. Anthony Lug has this primetime news follow-up. Exactly one year ago, residents of Hanover and Westmoreland appealed to the authorities to fix the Woodsville Bridge. The over 100 years old structure is at the border of the two parishes. It had been deteriorating over time, and on Saturday, it came crashing down. As we found out, a big issue has been who is responsible for the structure. The National Works Agency says it's the responsibility of the Hanover Municipal Corporation. The Municipal Corporation says it's the NAA. While that debate continues to rage, residents are in contemplation mode, given that their commute has changed for the worse. The alternative route is 90% impossible. You cannot drive on it. A part of it is already eaten off, just like what we have here. And there's another bridge that is giving way on that alternative route. We don't have potholes in that alternative route. We have what are called Stop them. Stop them. craters. The communities at a loss now. Because we have the hospital down there, persons need to go to the clinic there. How are they going to get across? Mm -hmm. So we are, we are suffering as a result of poor representation. We are totally locked off from all sides. Not, not this community alone, but it's been affecting Hill Brooks, affecting Flower Hill, seeing we Glen Brooks, because we are one adjoining community. And it's not just the residents. While we were in the area, we came across some tourists who were on their way to the world-renowned Mayfield Falls. They shared they were coming from the Grand Palladium Hotel. It took us oh, about it? two hours to wow. get to this point. Wow. <laughs> from, from where? From Lucy? Yes. Wow. Long commute aside. We actually got out and walked because it was faster and it, it, it hurt less. <laughs> so we've been walking for the last mile or two. Oh, this yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was just easier. To, to walk? Mm -hmm. To hold the road is terrible. So, so you, your driver was basically creeping. It, yeah, and it hurt my back. And so we just decided to walk because it was faster than he could drive. Because he had to stop and drive so carefully through the potholes and everything. So we just walked. So the structure, not only critical for the movement of people who frequent it, but it's part of the tourism experience as well. However, given that there's a seeming lack of clarity regarding whose responsibility it falls under, it may take some time before a solution is found. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.